As I read through the two readings today, I felt like those jugglers on the uh, Ed Sullivan show. You know, he would start spinning uh, one, then two, then three plates on sticks, and then he might add a few more and even more spinning plates, and maybe then he'd start standing on a chair or even upside down spinning all of these plates. And I always marveled how a juggler can keep track of uh, so many things coming at him at the same time. And I think today's readings are a little like that. First, the long but interesting and somber story of Tobit and Sarah's desire for death, even suicide, balanced with the parable of Jesus about the poor woman having to marry seven brothers and how they will then relate in heaven. Well, let's narrow down the reflection simply by noting that Jesus was well aware of their ruse and responds that heaven is not like earth, and relationships are different, and we hope and expect better. This gospel is probably chosen because of the Tobit Sarah story about death, reward, and punishment. Both Tobit and Sarah have faced unbelievable torment and suffering. Tobit, in his blindness and loss of control over his life, remember how angry he got with Anna yesterday, and Sarah, in that mind-boggling horror of having had six husbands and never making it through the marriage night without each one of them dying. On the one hand, one can understand her grief and depression, seven husbands, all dead. So her death surfaces as a relief to end that ongoing scenario. On the other hand, both she and Tobit, in their desire for death, even by their own hand, stop for a moment, put life and relationship to God in perspective, and shift the focus to the life God has given them. It's a powerful lesson for all of us. We who have ever faced one tragedy after another, one suffering moment after another, or one chronic painful day after another. I suspect that every one of us knows someone or may be the person whom we have known to sink into despair, perhaps even going as far as Tobit and Sarah. Sadly, we may even know a person who has followed through on that temptation. Let me say clearly that their life and the judgment of their action is in the hands of God. As Pope Francis has said, who are we? To judge. Yet in a comforting way, like Tobit and Sarah, they have actually placed their life in God's hands. In doing so, God will be there for them. In that moment, when we are at our lowest, when we give up and surrender control, God is ready to take charge and take care of us in ways that we cannot even imagine. That happened to Tobit and Sarah, as we will hear in the next few days. And it happens to us if we are willing to give ourselves up to God's mercy. Let us pray today for the Tobits and the Sarahs, who right now are in hard decision-making moments. May God bless them and the Spirit guide them.